Hello everybody, in this review today I'll be checking out the Arctic Liquid Freezer 120 AIO liquid cooler. Now as some of you may know, earlier this year I've done a video on its bigger brother, the 240mm version. This 120 however is even a bit cheaper and most importantly should fit into the majority of standard PC cases that support a 120mm fan. Right now at the time of this video this liquid cooling unit comes in at about 63 US dollars. Thank you so much to Arctic for being so kind and sending me another unit to review of the same lineup. In the packaging the Liquid Freezer 120A IO liquid cooler, two of Arctic's 120mm fans, then of course the backplate or cross I guess, screws, mounting rings and even some of Arctic's good MX4 thermal paste. Last but not least the user's guide. The Liquid Freezer 120 features a 120mm aluminum radiator, dimensions 155 by 120 by 49mm. Two of Arctic's F12 120mm PWM fans, 500 to 1350 RPM fan speed, 74 CFM max airflow, 0.3 zone noise level, pump power consumption 2 watts, cooled plate copper base, socket compatibility as always all the recent ones, Intel LJ 1151, LJ 2011 V3, as well as AMD's AM3 Plus and FM2 Plus. 326 mm tube length, total weight including the two fans, 941 grams. Right away in terms of design, just like the Liquid Freezer 240, it's not all that special in any way, but it sure does look solid. The 120mm radiator is of good quality, and since we aren't getting as much cooling surface here on this 120 version as on the 240, the thickness of the radiator needs to be increased, 49mm in this case. The same pump as on the 240 model is featured here with the exact same looks as well. Although not really my taste aesthetically, it doesn't matter all that much to be honest. And no, the Arctic logo does not light up. This cooling unit is equipped with very decent rubber tubes with a good diameter. Usually such AIO liquid coolers come with only a single fan if it's a 120mm version and two fans if it's a 240 or 280mm version. Arctic however kindly includes double the amount of fans for a push-pull configuration. The fans can be connected with each other and with the pump unit so just a single 4-pin cable that connects to the motherboard CPU fan header. With everything attached by that I mean the fans, the the liquid freezer does make a good impression and it sure does seem quite powerful, despite this being just a 120mm liquid cooler. The installation is very simple, easy and super fast, no complaints at all there. Since some of you will be asking how the cooling unit would perform with a classic single fan setup, I will be testing this liquid freezer 120 with the intended two fans attached as well as with only a single one. Now with all that aside, let's go ahead and run some stress testing on the CPU to get it hot. Will this AIO unit do a good job? Let's see. Very interesting, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 120 performed well, but the results didn't really come as a surprise to me quite honestly. How about you? Since I've already tested the 240mm variant of this cooler, I kinda knew what to expect. The 120 version with the two fans attached first of all hardly did produce any noise. On full load there was some fan noise audible, but only minimal noise, that's what I'd call it. The pump unit was dead silent on idle as well as on load. The performance of this Liquid Freezer 120 is quite good, especially for the actual price of this AIO unit, but of course the Liquid Freezer 240 is able to offer significantly more cooling performance. And there's even a pretty big difference when running a single fan or a push-pull configuration. Still, this being a 120mm radiator, this cooler is in fact able to somewhat keep up with 240mm models of the competition and can, I'd say, be compared with a top-of-the-line air CPU cooler such as the Deepcool Assassin 2. So Arctic's using a really well-performing pump, that's what I gotta say here. Again, this cooler should fit into most cases that support a 120mm fan at the rear or at the top. So a very compact, well-performing, silent AIO cooling unit with a good price-performance ratio at a price of $63. That's why I can definitely recommend this Arctic Liquid Freezer 120 liquid cooler. Since I have no complaints, it sure deserves my gold award, just like the 240 version. What are your opinions on this cooler? Let me know. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.